What's going on, beautiful people? I hope all is well. Guess what? I finally got my rotating assembly in. I finally got my rotating assembly in. Man, it's been a long time coming. Uh, the su supply chain issues are real. They are definitely real. I've waited from the time I took the block apart till this past Tuesday to get the rotating assembly in. That is a very long time. Several weeks, several months. Wow. But guess what? I am excited. I'm excited to get this project going. But before I go any further, thanks for subscribing to the channel. I do greatly appreciate that. That shows that uh, a lot of you are interested in seeing things come together. Hey, I am too. I am actually jazzed to see this engine come together to, to actually finish the project. <clears throat> uh, so, but let's take a look at Let's take a look at the uh, rotating assembly. Right here I have my I have my crank. The crank is made by uh, K1. And uh, I'm not gonna I'm not gonna take it out of the bag just because it got a lot of rust preventative on it. And I don't want that jazz on my hands, but you can see it. It is uh, internally balanced. So that work has been done. But I do need to take it and the rods to the machine shop because I want to have the, the block deck, the zero deck on the block. So they need the crank, one rod, and the piston. But let me show you the rest, rest of what I have. Right here, I have the, the rods. Now, like I said, when the, the kit was, is, is, is balanced, but what I was anticipating them having on the rods was the weight of the rods. Now, this is something that I did myself. I went and weighed the rods, and I also uh, weighed the uh, pins as well. Because I, what I want to do is have everything uh, weight matched if, if that makes sense to you if you're an engine builder uh, you know what I'm talking about but I want to have everything weight matched so there's no uh, vibration in the uh, in the uh, in the engine so this is the rods rods are made by K1 as well Get that back. over here I have the uh, pistons and Pistons are made by Wysco. Here's the piston right here. It's pretty nice. Now it has a uh, 8cc uh, valve release in it. A dish. And they do have the weight on the, the pistons. But like I said, they didn't have the weight on the rods, and which kind of threw me off a little bit there. But no, I mean, no big worries. I can go back and uh, weigh the rods myself. But I was just looking for the rods and pistons and everything to be weight, weighed all together. Right here is the piston rings. They're made by Wysco as well. Right here I have the bearings. The bearings are made by King. King Racing. Uh, right here on this sheet right here, I have a list of things that I want the uh, machine shop to do. I want them to hot tank the block, front and rear engine cover, valley cover, and oil pan. Um, it's very important to have, if you have an iron block, to have it uh, magnet flux. So you're looking for any cracks in the block. Uh, want the Block board and home the cylinders using a torque plate. Board cylinder to 3.903, that's the size pistons that I have. Uh, next, the line board and home the block main caps. Uh, then I, down here in the amber, I have you know the factory uh, main cap torque specs so they can check the clearances. 
um, on the on the crank and everything, and make sure that I have enough clearance because I'm going with uh, AR, ARP studs. Also, I'm going to have them replace the cam bearings. Uh, then, like I said before, uh, have the uh, have a have a zero deck surface. Down here, I had the uh, had a different machine shop do the heads for me. Uh, I didn't bring them around, but had them to uh, replace the water jacket plugs, had them to, to uh, install some two inch intake valves and uh, 1.60 exhaust valves. Had them, really didn't have them to, to mill the heads too much just because I don't want to, I'm looking for a specific compression ratio. Uh, and uh, like, Compression I'm looking for is like 10.5 or 10.6. Uh, once when they did the heads, they had to uh, clearance the combustion chambers a little bit. So uh, the heads are a 706, if, if I had to say it. Uh, 706 heads. I decided to go with the 706 heads. One, I already have them. Two, I know they're not cracked. Three, I didn't want to go with the 243 799s. Or 862s just because of the uh, compression ratio. 243s have a larger compression combustion chamber. The 799s have a larger combustion chamber as well. So, like I said, I already had the 706s. I know that they're not cracked and that they will put me where I want to be on the uh, compression ratio. Now, before I take my um, crank rod and piston to the uh, machine shop what I'm going to do is uh, uh, write my name on the on the parts not saying that um, they will take my stuff or anything like that it's not that I just don't want my stuff to get lost in the machine shop or mixed up with with someone else's stuff I mean hey take a look at this picture of, of the machine shop as you can see they have a lot going on and things can can get mixed up pretty quick so what I'm going to do is write my name on the crank write my name on the on the rod write my name on the piston as well and also the uh, on the pen as well so that my stuff does not get mixed up with someone else's and uh, you know then I have a big problem with uh, trying to get my stuff back but like I said at the beginning of the video, I am very excited to have this stuff in hand now. Um, it, it has been a long time coming. Uh, I'm ready to get this engine built. I'm excited to see how it comes together. I'm sure a lot of you that have recently subscribed to the channel. And, and, and before I go any further, thanks for subscribing to the channel. I, I greatly appreciate the uh, support. And... Uh, like I said, I'm, I'm everyone that's, that has recently subscribed or, you know, they're looking to see this thing come together. And I am too. So, uh, if you're having any, in, any engine work done, you got to take some parts to the machine shop, be sure to label your stuff. Not only that, uh, go, ahead, go ahead and have it written out what you want done to your parts. Make it easy for them. Uh, so they don't have to go looking for you know torque specs or anything like that like I got on the sheet it's right here for the factory uh, uh, studs bolts I'm sorry factory bolts I already got the uh, torque specs outlined for them the ARP studs that, are, that I'm going with I'm gonna go ahead and put a copy of that uh, torque specs in, in the uh, in the package as well so like I said, I don't want them to have to go looking for stuff and then have to stop what they're doing. I just want to make it convenient for them as much as possible so that this is a, a, a simple process, in and out, get my stuff back, I get this thing put together, and they, I go tear the streets up. Got a friend that got a Mustang. He's been talking a lot of noise. I'm just, I've been waiting to eat his lunch. I've been waiting to eat, eat his lunch all day long. But... Things are starting to come together. Uh, it's just a slow process right now just because of the supply chain issues that's going on in the country. 
if you're not a sus subscriber please go ahead and hit that subscribe button on this channel you'll see me finish out my LS swap suburban I'm currently working on building a 383 stroker I'm sure there's some things that you might pick up uh, in addition to that I mean hey good entertainment you know good entertainment it's gonna be some laughs some things that uh, that you learn but thanks for watching catch you next time